Wow, this is so skinny. Hey guys, welcome back. It is another beautiful day in Oregon. It's our last day riding here in Oregon. Tomorrow we are going up to BC. So that's gonna be awesome, but we're gonna enjoy one last rather short, but cool run here in Post Canyon in Hood River, Oregon. So we're starting from the Seven Streams staging area. After our relaxing ride in Mackenzie River, we got back in the car and drove a few more hours north to the Columbia River Gorge in Hood River, Oregon. Fun fact, one side of the river here is Oregon and the other is Washington State. The next morning, we set out to do a short ride since we knew we had to leave by noon to make it to BC at a decent time. We found a short route on trail forks called Post Canyon Hot Lap and decided to just follow it. So far the climb, super manageable, pretty consistent grade. The dirt seems a lot more hard pack than it did in Bend and in Mackenzie River. Not as loamy as Oak Ridge. Which is really interesting. You get so many different kinds of dirt here in Oregon. Also, we made it to the family man staging area. A little bit up the climb, we made it to a second trailhead with an incredibly cool skills practice setup. This place had skinnies of every possible length and width, ranging from the very novice to super challenging. Oh yeah. This is definitely a little bit more challenging. One of the very cool things about the PMW vegetation is that fallen trees are basically rot resistant, so they can use them to hand build stuff that still looks incredibly natural. Wow, this is so skinny. Really not used to this. Okay, come on, on my back wheel. I suck at skinnies, so this area was a perfect playground for me. We spent a good 15 minutes goofing around, but unfortunately, I never got the whole skinny in one go. Even if I got past the corner, I'd eventually look off and had to drop off it, and there was still quite a ways to go. Still, I had a blast, and I feel like I learned a lot here. Anyhow, after that, we kept on climbing through the pines in a rather open area which had some great views. Mount Hood over there. And no, that's not Mount Hood. It's actually Mount Adams in Washington a potentially active volcano which towers to about 12,300 feet. And don't worry, it hasn't erupted in over a thousand years. A nice clearing eventually provided a great spot for some mandatory pictures. Okay, so we have finished our climbing and now we are on Bad Motor Scooter, which is a bit of a jumpy trail from what I can see starting off. <laughs> Not exactly very confident right now. I can't really say what the issue was, but I was feeling quite uncomfortable with my own skills. I don't know if it's just me, but some days I feel like my confidence is on a different level than my actual skills. Some days I'll feel sendy, and I'll actually grow my skills because I'm willing to push a tiny bit past my 100%, and others, like the day I filmed this, my confidence is at 70 or 80% of my actual skills, and I just fall into this spiral of negative feedback with writing where I can't do the things that I know I'm able to do. Huge fucking wall ride, that was amazing. I can't say for sure if I was still overthinking it because of the huge pedal strike in Oak Ridge, but I just wasn't feeling it in general this day. Don't get me wrong, I still had a ton of fun. I just wasn't riding at the level that I wanted to. This is much nicer for me. A little bit of tech, a little bit of flow, some pumping. Oh, 
Oh, this is great. So much flow. which I most obviously did not hit. Ah, slowed down way too much. And right at the end, which is the stupid part, like if you already make it all the way through the berm, you're through. I don't need to touch the brake right at the end. So we took a wrong turn, but now that we're in this insane climb, we kind of want to finish it. This is so steep. Careful, Ricardo. That may just be the steepest thing I have ever climbed. That wasn't made of slick rock, of course. I will say one thing, navigating this place is very complicated. And like a lot of people say it, but once you're here and you have the maps and everything, you're still second guessing yourself constantly about if you're going the right way or not. We're making our last climb of the day to head to Mitchell Ridge, make it back down to the trailhead. Nice and pretty over here with all the flowers. Mitchell Ridge turned out to be a ton of fun. Oh man, mind-numbingly fast. It's not very techy, but the rather straight nature of it along the ridge opened up the possibility of some fun high-speed sections, which contrasts well with the bermy, windy kind of feel of the rest of this ride. There isn't anything particularly challenging about this spot. If you know what's there, you can kind of send it into the receiver. It was just riding blind, it was hard to know. In the end, I enjoyed this trail a lot more than I enjoyed the jumpy stuff. It never ceases to amaze me how important it is to be confident of what you are doing. It makes all the difference in the world both in how well you perform and how much you enjoy it. Nice, this is so much fun. <sighs> this trail ended with a bunch of perfectly formed switchbacks that have beautiful berms all the way to the bottom. In the end, this hot lap feels like something that would be the perfect after work loop or for situations like the one we were in, where you just want to go and see the good stuff in Post Canyon and head out in less than two hours.
That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well guys, there we go. That was the exit of our trail, Mitchell Ridge. That was a ton of fun. It was a great 10 mile loop. Relatively easy climbing and the descending, techy enough. I would have preferred a little bit more tech and less flow, but that's always something that's subjective, right? So if you're into high speeds and jumping and that kind of flow, you will absolutely love this place. I had a blast here and I'm happy I was able to get a 10 mile, 2000 foot day, just so that we're a little bit rested for tomorrow at Whistler. That video is gonna come out next week. And until then, I will see you for the next one and happy riding.